Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. See, I got a little bit of an unboxing to do over here, but I've been one busy little bee. This is why I haven't been on YouTube and haven't really been doing too much on YouTube or anything else lately. I got a project here that I'm working on for my daughter uh, on the counter right now. I'm waiting for parts for that. Um, but yeah, I have an unboxing. But first, let's show you what I've been up to. So right here is a photo of my family room. And what I've done here is basically uh, did some painting of the trimming. Uh, the wallpaper will be coming down during the uh, after Christmas. But I ended up doing some carpet shampooing inside this room. So this room is basically done as far as what we're going to do now compared to what we're going to end up doing later. So right now I've got... The dining room here and as you can see that the walls are uh nicely painted and the trimming is all done everything has been you know fresh coat of paint dried pictures back on the wall i ended up just got done doing the carpet shampooing over here in the dining room and uh yeah so now it's time to start working on the front room of the house so this is another photo of the front room uh the walls were painted trimming was painted uh everything is done and dried I got the carpeting done inside the dining room so now it's time to work on the carpeting inside the front room so i have to move everything back into the dining room and play musical furniture over here to basically uh yeah get everything situated now all the furniture inside the dining, uh, front room over here is all getting replaced this year we are going to get new couches these couches are as old as i am basically and uh yeah so is our dining room table as you can see here there was a cover that went over this dining room table that ruined the top of this table there's nothing wrong with the table itself and it's not gouged into the wood of the table it just like the top coating peeled off whatever the sealer that was on there that they used peeled off of it and uh what i'm going to end up doing is sanding down the whole top and refinishing it now this stuff here this carpet cleaning resolve stuff uh works really really good um i have what's called the bissell uh pro heat times two machine for shampooing carpets and this pro resolve works great on it as you saw the dining room in the front and uh back room carpeting worked out pretty good so yeah let's get to my so this is something that i've been waiting for probably for three or two months probably more of three months it's been on back order and as you can see on the box, well, that kind of gives it away of what's in the box. But I know what it is. I'm going to show you what it is. So, got my stepping tool, and I'm going to open this thing up now. Now, this has staples in it, so I have to pull it open. So what we got here is a very large, undamaged ESP case. These are nice cases. The only thing about them is they're bulky as hell. So let's get to what is this thing in the one case. Hand. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that. This is the ESP Eclipse E2. So let's kind of bring this thing around and... Take a look at things here. Oh, that's nice. Active pickups, EMGs. Nothing broke on the side of the neck. Nope, everything looks good. Everything looks good. It's got ESP locking tuners on there. EMG pups. And of course, it's probably not gonna be a tuner. It's got a bone nut little guard over here it's kind of cool like that it's kind of nice three-way switch push pull push pull tone yeah it's got a beautiful top on there top binding neck binded matching headstock yeah, this thing is really nice. Now, this is not a rosewood. This is a probably going to be a ebony fretboard. I don't think it's rosewood. So, yeah, I'm going to plug this thing later on. And uh, 
well i'm going to set it up first and then plug it in but yeah that is one hell of a nice top yeah so it comes into goodie bin so we got some esp stickers comes with some nice strap locks key it's got elixirs on there and then of course these here's another key so yeah nice real nice this I will take out so it doesn't bounce around in the case beautiful guitar let's make sure his neck is straight oh yeah she's straight let me take out the guitar condom there you go get rid of the guitar condom here Now the music store that I bought this from was supposed to do a setup on this thing already before it was shipped out. Now due to change in temperature and humidity and everything else, I will be going over this thing to make sure that the setup on this thing is pretty good. Now from what I notice at the, like the first fret, uh, action height is really, really good. Neck is pretty straight. So I'll have to check to see what the uh, feeler gauge is exactly where the neck is sitting. But yep, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Got this thing brand new. And uh, it's been a long wait to get it. So I'm kind of happy about it now that it's here. So I also have a regular Eclipse with EMG pickups inside of it. So I got two of these guys. Well, this is the number two. The other one is the Eclipse 1000. I believe it's, I think it's the Eclipse 1000. I'll have to dig that one out too and see what, uh, but yeah, they're basically the same body shape, just different tops, different electronics, and uh, yeah, beautiful.